You know how they say that everybody has a purpose in life. Well, at one time I felt that selling cocaine was my purpose. We were starving, just looking for a way to, to succeed. The first time I seen rock cocaine was 1980. Murder rate was sky high. South of the 10 freeway was kind of a no man's land. So, you know, we're selling it to the blacks. So you go to these neighborhoods, you, there's no cops, you can sell it where you want, and when they start killing each other, nobody cares. I was going through like a million dollars worth of drugs just about every day. That's like gold. We can make a fortune. He was maybe the biggest guy in LA. Rick, Rick. Freeway Rick. Freeway Rick was getting his dope from a very big operator. I think we're into something that's bigger than us, something we really can't deal with. They had been trafficking on behalf of the United States government. She could prove what she was saying. The story was mind-boggling. When I was young, let me tell you how it was when I come from. As I've said before, no drug network will remain alive. There's a lot of people who think that, you know, I made that whole thing up. What they don't realize is the CIA admitted it. See, I didn't know until I was sitting in prison how valuable an education was. Yeah, drugs suck. Drugs are really bad. But the drug war is worse. You want a new version of health, be the only guy playing straight in a dirty card game. And that's what the drug war is. There are more people in prisons and jails today just for drug offenses than were incarcerated for all reasons in 1980. Me being here is defying all the odds. People don't get federal life sentences and beat them. We've been spending billions and billions and billions of dollars every year on this war on drugs to find out that the government was involved. That's pretty astonishing. Crack in the system. This is Los Angeles. Even if the government just turned a blind eye and didn't do anything about it, then you have to start questioning the whole system.